Ciao a tutti, it's Laura in Italiano, and today I'm going to be talking about Rome and why you should avoid it like the plague in 2025. My friends, I love Rome. I've been going there for over 30 years, and it's like a second home to me. I adore Rome, uh, just not in 2025. Now, having said that, I am going to be going there for work. I will be going on a small ship cruise tour uh, that goes uh, stays two nights in Rome, and I'll be doing a land tour, most likely, that stays three nights in Rome. I love the city, but because, for several reasons, uh, 2025 is not the year to go, my friends, amici miei. Anyway, if you are enjoying my content and learning more about Italy, do's and don'ts and this and that, travel guides and many Italian lessons, please, and thank you, grazie, uh, for commenting, sharing, liking, and mainly, my friends, subscribing. I highly appreciate it. I'm growing this channel organically. Way back to Rome. First reason you want to stay away from Roma in 2025 is because it's a jubilee or il jubileo, which happens every 25 years, is when they open the holy doors, the Porta Sante, the Porta Santa, the holy door in Rome. And of course, the Vatican St. Peter's is going to be a, a major magnet for that. That's going to be the main one. They're already working on opening up that door, getting it ready uh, for this so that when you walk through the doors all your sins are absolved anyway that's one reason while we're on the subject of the Vatican, let's talk about a couple things. As of fall of 2024, they had closed all the public restrooms at the Vatican, at St. Peter's, at least, in St. Peter's Basilica. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And again, imagine all the extra thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of religious pilgrims, pellegrini, that are coming in uh, for the Jubilee or the Holy Year. Uh, so no restrooms right now. And also, inside St. Peter's, you may know that the Pietà, they've been working on it, uh, cleaning it up. And so at first it was behind plexiglass. Now it is completely covered over and they have a replica in front of the original Pietà. But again, you cannot see it at all. So just something to keep in mind um, that hopefully by 2026, uh, those things will be resolved. Now it's possible with the restrooms and with the Pietà that they are doing all this work and closing the restrooms perhaps to bring them up to speed or make them bigger um, in anticipation of Jubilee year in 2025. One can only hope. However... <laughs> It is Italy. Uh, so enough said about that. Anyway, another thing you want to think about with uh, regards to Rome is what I like to call the Italy money grab. And this is due in part to, you know, they had two years without any work with COVID. Uh, and now they're raising prices and things in Rome, they are now charging for the Pantheon. I've heard that they are now going to start charging in 2025 to get into the Trevi Fountain. I'm not sure how they're going to control that, but we'll see how they go. If your plans do call for you to be in Rome, let's say you're doing a cruise and it begins or ends in Rome, or you've already made your travel plans and Rome is included for 2025, you know, hey, there'll probably be some good photo opportunities with the Jubilee year. You'll see a lot of religious pilgrims standing in long lines at St. Peter's with, uh, you know, all the different from where they're the country, where they're from. They will have bandanas around their necks that are all matching and usually holding a flag uh, from their country that they're from. So that's really kind of a cool, I mean, I've been there uh, in the year 2000. That was the first year I started with Tauk. So I have fond memories of it. Um, but again, if you do have to be in Rome, maybe get in, get out, uh, make it short and sweet. Again, try and stay away from St. Peter's for the reasons I said before, if you can, um, and the Vatican in general. And there is no shame in the hop on, hop off bus, my friends. Otherwise, look into possibly a golf cart, having someone take you around. Or, you know, if in fact... Uh, you know, there is a shortage of taxis or, God forbid, a shopero and there's a taxi strike. Do keep in mind, you can now do your Uber. Now, when you call up Uber in Italy, uh, pretty much whatever city you're in, you're either going to get a taxi as an option or what they call an NCC, which is private driver. And they're a little more expensive for sure, but uh, they can at least take you close to the places where you want to go. Uh, and you still have some walking involved somewhere because of some traffic restrictions. But anyway, you can still enjoy Rome. If you're looking for more information on where to go in Italy, what to do, uh, travel trends going forward to 2025, you might want to try this video. This is a great one. Or also this one is wonderful. Anyway, so much content every day, my friends. Shorts, videos, many Italian lessons, travel tips. I will be coming at you again soon. And wherever you're going in Italy, come along with me. Andiamo.